Hi everybody, this video is going to deal with solving systems of equations using substitution and elimination. This is a really common topic in Algebra 1 and Algebra 2, um, so let's get to it. First we're going to do elimination. The goal with either of these is to find an x and a y that makes both of these equations true. Typically you need as many variables as you have equations for this to work. Two equations with two variables, three equations with three variables. Um, so with elimination the goal is to get one of the variables to go away when you add these two together. Um, so I'm looking at the 3 and the 2 and the 1y and the negative 5y, and you can pick either variable you want. Um, and I'm going to pick a number to multiply everything on this top um, by and everything on this bottom by so that maybe the x's are like 6 and negative 6, um, or the y's are perhaps 5y and negative 5y. You can do it with either variable. I'm going to do it with the x's first. And um, so uh, I'm noticing that uh, if I want to make the x's cancel out, I would like to maybe have this top be a 6x. So I'm going to multiply the whole equation by 2, and which is fine because as long as you do it to the left side and the right side, it's, it, it, the equation remains the same. Uh, so this is going to be 6x plus 2y equals 26. Down uh, below, I'm going to multiply this by negative 3 because negative 3 times 2x makes negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 5y makes 15y. Negative 3 times 3 makes negative 9. And then you can add these together. And 6x and minus 6x cancel out. They add it to 0. 2y and 15 add to 17y. 26 and minus 9 make 17. Divide by 17 to cancel out that, and you get y equals 1. So you're halfway there, but you've done the difficult half. Uh, all that you have to do uh, now to get x is to take one of your original equations. It doesn't matter which one. I'll just pick the first one. Plug in the y as 1, and then solve for x. So I'm going to dis, uh, subtract 1 from both sides to get the x term by itself. 3x equals 12, and x equals 4. So 4 comma 1 is the ordered pair that would be the solution for this. That is elimination. I'm going to do this same problem again with substitution. That's another uh, popular method. So I've written the same uh, system of equations down again, and I'm going to pick one of the x's or y's and solve for that x or y, and then I'm going to use what I solve uh, and put it into the other equation. That's a lot of words. Let me show you how it works. Um, it's always, you can always pick any term you want, but it's always the best to pick one that has just a 1x or a 1y. So I see this has a 1x, so I'm going to just go ahead and rewrite this. 3x plus y equals 13. Take away 3x because we want to get the y all by itself, so we take away 3x from both sides. Cancel that out. And we now have the same equation written as y equals 13 minus 3x. I'm going to just box that on hold for a minute. Um, so this is the same equation as we had up here. It's uh, just written in a different format. And now I'm going to take my other equation, which was 2x minus 5y equals 3. And we're going to take y. Instead of y going here, y is the same as 13 minus 3x. So that's going to go right there, 13 minus 3x. And now we can use my distributive property. Minus 5 times 13 is minus 65. Minus 5 times minus 3x is 15x. And that equals 3. Uh, we've got some like terms to clean up. 2x and 15x make 17x. Minus 16, 65 equals 3. And then I'm going to add 65. And cancel out that minus 65. So we end up with 17x equals 68. Uh, divide by 17, uh, x equals 4. 
So we've got um, x equals 4. The great thing about substitution is all you have to do once you have your first variable is plug it in right here. You could plug it in there or there, but that would be a lot of work uh, because you'd have to solve for y again. You already have y on one side here, so just do 13 minus 3 times x. Instead of x, you're going to put in 4. So that would be y equals 13 minus 12, 3 times 4, and y equals 1. So 4 comma 1, again, is your solution. The exact same answer for the exact same problem with a different method. Hope that helps.